I'm okay. I'm, okay? I'm, I'm holding on by threads. Do, come on. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to lean I'm up good. against this? I'm good. Oh, okay. I feel like it's, how long has it been since we ran? Almost an hour. Okay. I should be fine. Okay. You good? No, you're too warm? Celia Brooks, uh, is the reality completely outweighing just what you have <laughs> waited for your entire career? Yeah, I think it hasn't even like hit me yet because I haven't cried or anything. I just would imagine that I would be like crying and super emotional, but uh, I think throughout this whole like track meet, it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Like I came in very healthy, ready to go fast, and then it all just kind of started to fall apart after the hurdles. Um, but I'm proud of myself and my team, and I feel like God just had his arms wrapped around me this whole entire track meet because each event, I was, I was telling Coach Justin like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Like my ankle is hurting, my knee is hurting. Like I can barely run. Um, but we made it through, and we're going to Paris. With all those aches and pains, like how do you prepare over the next, uh, I guess, month and a half now? Yeah, I think it was just like different things. I think the, the mess up in the hurdles kind of tweaked the ankle, and then just going straight to high jump just aggravated it. So it's not any like major injuries, um, but it was just stuff that made it hard to compete at a high level. Uh, but again, I was proud of how I fought through it. Like all those third attempt makes in the high jump uh, was crazy. The third attempt in the long jump, the third attempt in the javelin, I think, uh, yeah, third attempt things were my thing this weekend. And, and so, I, you know, I say this with the highest amount of respect, this is the third attempt at the trials. Seems this like, is the third attempt at the seems trials. Seems kind of fitting, right? It is fitting. Uh, yeah, I think my, my first one was 2016 when I was a sophomore in college, and then obviously most people know what happened in 2021, so I feel like it's just come full circle. and. I'm really proud of just the effort that was put in this weekend and just in the preparation to be here. Uh, I'm surprised at the PR because of how hard it was. That's the hardest PR I've ever had in my life, but we'll take it. Can you talk about that journey coming off the last Olympics and everything that happened, oops, sorry, everything that happened to these couple years to get you to this point? Yeah, so after the last Olympic trials, it took me like well over a year just to get back from that and then I think making the team in Budapest for Budapest last year really set me up for this year. I had a lot of anxiety like coming back to Hayward last year trying out for the team. Um, just being back in the same place that all this stuff happened in. So it's been a journey um, but we knew like the weak points that we needed to work on. We've been working out, doing all different types of things. I think some of it showed. Um, me and one of my friends were joking earlier and said that I was gonna earn a place to Paris off of my week events. I PR'd in every single week event that I had. I didn't do good at any of my good events. Uh, so again, just proud of that. And I think it does show the effort and the work that we have put in in those events. And so when I can put it all together, I think I'll be really happy with the number. And you found some Hayward magic, right? Like I did. Uh, so, you know, third time back at the Olympic trials, how important was your experience in order to get you those third attempt yeah. successes? I mean, the fans here are, are great. I think Again, most people know what happened to me. So I think when I first walked out of the airport on Tuesday, people were like, let's go, Talia, you got it. So I feel like everyone here kind of just is really cheering me on. A lot of people that don't even know me are like, we're rooting for you, we're pulling for you. And I could really feel that, especially when I was running that 800. I could hear so many people like, run, run. Because everybody knew the situation. Eight seconds with Michelle, four and a half seconds with uh, Shari. And obviously I can't see behind me, so I was just trying to stay as close to Michelle as possible. Um, and I think the crowd really helped with that. Uh, we joke at practice, because a lot of the 800 workouts I do by myself, or my weight coach, uh, MC, paces me. And the whole team cheers for me. And I tell them, like, guys, if nobody's cheering for me, it's just so easy to run slow, because you feel like no one cares. Uh, but out here, like, everybody's cheering, and it just, it just felt like practice, and yeah, it was good. With um, the sprint documentary, would you like to see a documentary just solely based on the multis? Oh my goodness, absolutely, because I don't know that people really know like the details and the ins and outs of being a combined event athlete. Like You're always the first one at practice, the last one to leave. Um, people don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Like Today before the long jump, I could barely warm up because my knee just wouldn't bend enough to, to go. So. I, somehow we just pulled it together and I think if people saw like some of those behind the scenes I think two weeks ago I had like a breakdown at practice in the javelin it's just like it's so many events that sometimes you, you can't feel like you're conquering it the way that you want to um, so it's really hard it can be really stressful uh, but it's also super rewarding once you finish it and how everybody gets to take the victory lap I think everybody deserves that because it's just so hard to get through it how does it feel to be going to Paris? 
<laughs> oh my goodness, it feels amazing. I can't wait to get me a little necklace with the rings and the tattoo. I'm going to do all the stuff. Anything that they have for us to do, I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to be at all the stuff, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. My family was here. My grandmother was here. I don't think she's seen me compete in person since I was a senior in high school. So it was just really special to have all of my family, my friends, my high school track coach. Uh, again, I felt all the support, and I'm proud. I'm proud for my family and for my coaches, really. What, what are you wearing on your wrist, if you don't mind me asking? It's a whoop. Okay. No free ads. But, uh, yeah, it's a whoop. It, I mostly use it for my HRV and my uh, sleeping, just to make sure I'm trending in the right direction with my recovery. Thank you. I need you for podium.